PGY Tech have sent me another cool gadget to use and review. And spoiler alert, I think this is actually the most compact and versatile suction mount cup that I've ever used. So let's get straight to it and take a look. Gadgets like this above anything else need to be functional, but it's really good when you get a functional product that also looks really cool as well. And I think this is what PGY Tech are good at. They put their time into refining their camera gadgets. This suction cup mount is aesthetically pleasing to the eye with a well designed combination of black and grey metal, plastic and rubber. The suction cup itself is made of plastic and measures approximately 8.5 cm in diameter and stands around 4 cm high. The miniature arm which is around 2 cm by 2 cm square then extends out of the suction mount to a maximum of 10 cm. The arm is really well made and much better than any arm I've seen on a suction mount before. It's made of aluminium and has a ball joint either end. And the locking screw is big and easy to use and the mechanism squashes the metal against the ball joints which locks it firmly into place. At the top of the arm there's a standard GoPro finger mount so you can attach your Insta361R or your GoPro Max directly to the mount. And to do this you use the included quick release pins. These are easy to put in and remove and they snap shut and they lock the camera firmly in place. And if you prefer or need to use a quarter inch thread you can use the included quarter inch thread adapter. I'm always a bit wary of using suction mounts on cars but I read so many good reviews about how strong this suction mount was that I just had to stick it to my car and take it for a spin. It's simple to attach, you simply take off the sticker from the bottom and you push the mount onto your car and then you push down the lever on the mount to grip it tight in place. Just a quick disclaimer, when you use mounts like this you are using them entirely at your own risk. Make sure the surface that you use the mount on is flat and clean and that you read the instructions because there are some surfaces that it says you shouldn't use this mount on and there are some activities that aren't recommended for this mount such as surfing and skiing and any high impact sports. And as an extra precaution if you're using this mount on a car you can always tether it to a certain point on the car just in case it comes off. There are two things that make this mount very versatile and the first one is the fact that you can stick it to a lot of flat smooth surfaces compared to some of the other suction or magnetic mounts. And secondly the small extension arm makes this mount really versatile because you can position the camera in almost any position to help you get the perfect shot. If you're using a 360 camera I'd position the arm so that the camera sits central to the mount with the arm extended upright and this way there'll be less mount showing in your shot in the final video and also the further away you are from the surface the better the stitch line will be. Having said that this metal arm is like a replacement for a short selfie stick or an extension arm so it will allow you to get a bit of extra reach with your 360 camera and push it slightly forward which may give you a better shot overall. So as always you just need to experiment with the camera position to see what looks best. If you're using the 4K or 1 inch mod or any other GoPro action camera the arm is a lifesaver because you can put the camera in so many positions as you not only have the range of the arm but you also have the full range movement of the mount at the top as well. When you finish shooting the mount can be taken off by releasing the lever and then using the little tab to pull it off. And before releasing the lever make sure you have one hand on the camera. The mount is really compact and can be folded neatly away and takes up very little room in either your pocket or your kit bag. Let me know in the comments your favourite car mounts and if like me you love gadgets and accessories you can check out these two videos next with accessory ideas for the Insta361R and the GoPro Max. My name's Rich, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.